Hello everybody and welcome back to more of Pokemon Heart Gold. Last time we arrived here in Blackthorn City, which the sign is actually right here, after making our way through the ice path, Blackthorn City, a quiet mountain retreat. Something interesting that I should have pointed out when we were in Violet City, um, the slogan, the town slogans, as I just read, Violet City and Blackthorn City are the only ones in the remakes here that keep their original slogans, which is a pretty cool little tidbit. Trainer tips. Wild Pokemon appear regularly if you don't run, but walk quietly in the tall grass. If your party Pokemon are tired, it is better to avoid running. And go straight to a Pokemon Center. Yeah, I guess that's true, but anyway... We're going to be exploring a bit here. These little wedges always put me off. Like, I always feel there's a hidden item. And there probably is, but I'm just being a derp about it. But anyway, we're going to do a bit of exploring. But this is also probably going to be a very jam-packed episode because we will also be taking on the Blackthorn City Pokemon Gym in this episode. So let's explore everything here in the city, and then we will take on the gym. Dragonair's cute. But I don't have it. Do you have Dragonair, female? Want to trade it for my Dodrio? Uh, no thanks. You don't want to trade? Oh darn. Yeah, sorry guy. Um, what is it in a... Oh god, I'm forgetting. Is it only in Crystal that he wants a ride on for a Dodrio? Uh, you trade a ride on to him for a Dodrio. I can't remember which game it is, but anyway. Uh, that house has a sign in front of it, so it's important. Let's go to this house first, then we'll check out that bottom one. Hey, there's a Dratini. A clan of trainers who freely command dragon-type Pokémon lives right here in Blackthorn City. As a result, there are many legends about dragons in this town. I'm sorry, I will never do that old lady voice again. I apologize uh, for making your eardrums bleed. Anyway, right here is the Move to Leader and Move Tutor House, a mysterious house where you can make Pokemon forget and remember moves. Alright, let's go check it out. Although I don't have a heart scale, so we can't really let Pokemon remember anything. Uh, who did I say I was again? Oh yeah, I remember now, I'm the Move to Leader. You can come to make me force your Pokemon forgets moves? No, actually. Yeah, yeah, and this is the Move Tutor, Pokemon Move Maniac, as he calls himself. Uh, it'll cost me, yeah, heart scale, I don't have a heart scale, but anyway, these people here, ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho, they call me Grandma Wilma. I sense a slight talent as a dragon tamer in you. Would you like me to teach a move to one of your Pokemon? Uh, I believe this is Draco Meteor that you can teach a dragon type Pokemon you have. And this guy, he will give some outstanding moves to one certain Pokemon. And it is either your Grass, Water, or Fire type. You can teach it its ultimate move, Frenzy Plant for Meganium or any of the Grass Starters, Blast Burn for Typhlosion or any of the Fire Starters, and Hydro Cannon to Feraligator or any of the Water Starters. Personally, I'm going to pass on getting Frenzy Plant. Just because Frenzy Plant, I, I don't think it fits Meganium. But normally in other playthroughs, I probably would give it Frenzy Plant, let's be honest. Down here is Route 45, and I already did a little bit of training there, actually, because this gym is pretty challenging. Anyway, there's still some people to talk to here. Those trainers called Dragon Tamers are all from Blackthorn City. Okay, well, thanks for sharing. What do you have to say? Claire, our gym leader is waiting for you. However, it would be impossible for a run-of-the-mill trainer to win. I sent a challenge. There's a surf puddle behind here. We'll actually go by and see what's up with this. Uh, this will actually come into importance later on, and by later on, I mean wild Pokemon encounter. And by later on, I mean after the gym. If we read the sign here, Dragon's Den ahead. And this guy will basically tell us only trainers, only chosen trainers may train, please leave. So, really quickly, I'm going to spray another Repel before we surf here on the ocean behind the gym. Just because. Don't want, to run, uh, don't want to run into any other level 4 Magikarps, do we? Alright, Quagsire, let's just surf. Alright, and now it is time to take on the gym. 
Blackthorn City, Pokemon Gym, Leader Claire, as the guy next to the gym already mentioned. The blessed user of Dragon Pokemon. Alright, super packed episode, let's go, let's take on the gym, the final gym of the Johto region. Yo, champ in the making, you actually stopped us just like in Generation 5. The gym has unstable footing, keep your Pokemon in their Pokeballs. Now, Claire uses the mythical and sacred dragon type Pokemon. You can't damage them very easily. But you know, they're supposed to be weak against ice type attacks. Well, moves, he said, whatever. Anyway, the gimmick of this gym, you gotta move things around. So, just do this, then do that. Perfect! And now it's time to be dominated by dragon trainers because my Pokemon are actually considerably under leveled compared to not just these trainers, but the gym leader. So this is going to be very long, not because we're doing exploring and then gym challenge in one episode, but because I'm probably going to lose to Claire about five times. Anyway, enough rambling, Ace Trainer Paulo with three Pokemon. First up is Dratini. Well, we're not that underleveled compared to these trainers, but still, I'd prefer being aqua-tailed. <laughs> I wouldn't prefer be, uh, being aqua-tailed, that's gonna take me out even though- Wow, we survived, but... Aqua-tail, yeah. Dratini, Dragonair, and Dragonite, the evolutionary family, they all can carry aqua-tail, and it is not pleasant when they do have it. So, Tanky Fortress, I'm gonna be sending you out, just because you can probably tank about 12 aqua-tails, I wanna say. Or slam, and you'll probably get paralyzed, because that's what happens. No? Okay. Well, um... Let's just use... Strength. Aqua Tail again, but you missed! Excellent! Alright, and strength is not enough to take it out! Woo! Alright, let's just use Mirror Shot, then. I thought we would be able to take it out. I guess Fortress isn't that hot. It doesn't have that high of an attack stat. Oh well. Mirror Shot takes it out, so down goes the Dratini. Not that much experience because of two Pokemon at once, but next up is going to be Seedra, and I'm definitely switching out into Ampharos, because being part water type, I can easily take this thing out, and I'm gonna take the chance to do it e the easy way. Alright, Seedra. Prepare to meet thy Thunder Punch, if I can actually click on the actual button for Thunder Punch, and nearly click on Thunder Wave, which would be bad since I still have Choice Specs on Ampharos here. Alright, Thunder Punch, let's see how much that does. On three levels lower, it does more than half, alright. I'll accept that. Bubble Beam. Bubble Beam does actually a lot for being a, not very effective to me, which is a bit sad, uh, which is why... Maybe I will lose to Claire about five times on purpose just to train my Pokemon. Alright, experience for Ampharos. Not enough to get to level 33, but that's fine. Dratini is up next. And I'm actually going to stay in, just because Ampharos could use the level up. Alright, so Thunder Punch, because we're stuck with choice specs. I mean, I should, yeah, I should probably take them off Ampharos pretty soon. Yes, we got the Paralysis. Excellent. Alright, agility, oh boy. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> Tratini, please don't. We're still faster, thanks to paralysis, but if it uses agility probably one more time, then it'll probably be faster even, oh, yep, there it is. <laughs> there is the agility. Okay. And, wow, we're still faster even with the two agilities. Alright, well, I'll take it, but... Dratini survived with another agility use. Okay, um, yeah, I wish I could have got Parahax, but, you know, what? Wow, still faster? Wow. After three agilities? I'll, I'll take it. Anyway, that's enough experience to get Ampharos to level 33. Excellent. Which means we have defeated Ace Trainer Paulo. And that's a lot of money. Thank you, Ace Trainer. And you can go back to the beginning by using these warps if you want to. 
but I'm not going to. At least not yet. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's switch in... Uh, what? Let's put Meganium in front. Why not? Alright, and now let's take on the female Ace Trainer. Dragons are sacred Pokemon. They are full of life energy. If you're not serious, you won't be able to beat them. I guess I'm somewhere in the middle because I barely beat Paulo. Anyway, Ace Trainer Lola with two Pokemon. First up is a Dratini. Surprise, surprise. Everybody's going to use a Dratini in here, basically. Anyway, I'm going to be using Petal Dance, a newly learned move for those who have missed the last couple episodes. And, well, not really. Well, actually, yeah, I haven't really used Meganium that much in the last few since it leveled up, but... That's fine. Petal Dance, basically, we're just gonna keep going and going. Dragon Rush, oh boy. Well, that doesn't even do- oh, of course we flinch, of course. Well, at least that gets rid of the Petal Dance and eventual confusion. Um, let's try a Solar Beam. Thank God Dragon Rush missed. Please don't hit it and then make me flinch as soon as I prepare to hit you with a Solar Beam. Okay, we got hit, and Moment of Truth. Okay, we didn't flinch, but we do hit the Solar Beam, which is great, although it probably will only do a little bit. Oh, wow. It took it out. Wow, all right. Go Meganium. But that's not enough experience to get you to the next level. Next up is Dragonair, and I'm going to be switching. As you see, my Pokemon are definitely already taking a beating from these dragons, so... Yeah, when it comes to Claire, like I've already mentioned, we're probably going to be taking her on five times. Alright, Dragonair, let's see what you... Actually, you know what? We're going to be the scumbag. As long as we don't get paralyzed and then parahaxed, we should. Self-destruct, but that'll probably only do half of anything. Let's see. Come on. Oh, wow, it took it out completely. Awesome. I was expecting it to only do half, but Fortress, I guess, is strong when it counts. And we have defeated Ace Trainer Loa. Alright, so, really quickly, I'm gonna use the teleporter and heal up. I'll be right back. Alright, we're back, and now let's move on. Okay, we need to go upward, and then we need to do this, then we need to do that. Now we need to do this, and then... Oh, what do we need to do? We need to do this. No, we need to... No. We need to do that. Okay, then we need to do that. 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 No, not that. Um, then that. Yay, we did it! And I thought we would be able to skip this guy, but I guess not. It's not as if we all use Dragon-type Pokemon. It's about more than that. We're interested in strong Pokemon. That's my theme. Alright, well, Ace Trainer Cody says he doesn't always use Dragon-type Pokemon. I guess that's true because he sends out a horsey. Alright. Well, this is perfect for Meganium, let's just use Magical Leaf! And there we go! Down goes Horsey! Alrighty, what's next? Well, Meganium's gonna grow to level 33, which is awesome. And next up's going to be Seedra, alright, we'll stay in then. Alright, and now with Seedra here, let's just use Petal Dance. As we get Bubble Beamed. Awesome. Alright, that didn't do- Oh, uh, well, it lowers my speed. That's just great. And Petal Dance. Takes out Seedra. Excellent. Alright. Which means we have defeated Ace Trainer Cody. Alright, so... 
we probably actually could have skipped this trainer, at least somewhat if we were really careful, who you've apparently been training a lot with Claire, and there's no way you can lose? Challenge accepted. Alright, Ace Trainer Fran with one Pokemon, and it is a Seedra. Alright, well, Meganium will gladly take your experience, Seedra. Let's use a Petal Dance. Bubble Beam yet again. Well, it sucks that Seedra is faster, even with potential Bubble Beam lowering my speed, but uh, it's okay. This should do a lot, if not take it out. And there we go! Down goes Seedra, which means that we have defeated Ace Trainer Fran, and we are very close already to level 34. Alright, and now there's another healer up portal right there, but this is the last trainer before Claire, so let's take him on. My chance of losing? Not even 1%. Alright, Ace Trainer Mike with one Pokemon, and it is a Dragonair. Alright, Meganium, let's do this. As long as you can survive potential... Wow, we're faster than it? Okay, I'll, I'll take it. Why not? Agility, oh boy, now you're gonna be faster than me. Please don't Dragon Rush me and then make me flinch because I actually want to hit this move, uh, Dragon Rage. Don't paralyze me, don't paralyze me, don't paralyze me, whatever you do. Don't paralyze, thank you. Alright, let's see how much Solar Beam does. Probably half damage if I... Gonna, if I'm gonna be a wizard here. Not even half. Whoa, wonderful. Okay. Um, let's go in with... Uh, Slugma. Slugma's unfortunately gonna have to be death fodder here. Just so I can send in Fortress and then explode. Dragon Rage. That does 40 each time, though. So we actually get to survive this move. Alright. Um... Fire Blast if we can hit it. Yeah, no, we're gonna use Aqua Tail. Thank you, Slugma, for being the uh, the sheep of this situation. I'm sorry I had to put you in that situation, but unfortunately it has to be done because all of my members, including you, are underleveled. Alright, well, uh, for actually, you know what? We'll try to take it out without using Self-Destruct, which will be actually a little bit difficult since this does 40 damage each turn, so we only can survive one more. Come on, strength, do enough. Okay, it does do enough. As long as we can survive this and not get paralyzed. Well, we can survive, just don't get paralyzed. And strength? Come on. Watch me get low damage calcs this turn. Oh my god, no. Oh, Fortress, no. Okay, Crobat. I'm gonna send Crobat in. Um... I thought we could take it out. I, I knew I would get the low damage calcs. Alright, come on, Crobat. Tank this. Don't get paralyzed. There we go. And now let's just use U-Turn to finish it off. Don't get paralyzed. This is the meme of the episode. Don't get paralyzed. Oh my god, we're having so much great luck with not getting paralyzed. I am very shocked. U-Turn is going to be able to take out Dragonair. That was a tough challenge for just facing a Dragonair. Anyway, Meganium is now level 34, Sweet Scent. You already tried learning this as a Bayleaf. I am not gonna let you learn Sweet Scent. Give it up. Yes, do not learn it. More experience for everybody else, and we've defeated Ace Trainer Mike. Alright, and now I'm gonna go heal up again, so I will see you in just a second. Alright, we're back yet again, and now let's try to solve this puzzle and get to the gym leader. Okay, so, think what I need to do. Let's do this, and that, and that, and this, and that. I totally solved it without any problems. Alright, well, uh, really quickly, since you can't tell... Um, because no Pokemon are allowed because of the hot lava. I'm going to switch Ampharos in front because 
Like normal dragon type trainers, they have a Gyarados for some reason. So, save if you want, but let's go on and challenge Gym Leader Claire. I am Claire, the world's best dragon type master. I can hold my own against even the Pokemon League's Elite Four. Do you still want to take me on? Fine. Let's do this! As a gym leader, I will use my full power against any opponent. Here we go, we have been challenged by Gym Leader Claire. Her first Pokemon, Gyarados, level 38. Water Flying type, imitate for the ability with the moves Dragon Rage, Twister, Bite, and Dragon Pulse. Alright, let's just go straight for the Thunder Punch, as it uses Dragon Rage. And since this is 4 times super effective, this should take it out, even if though we're underleveled. Or not at all, okay, wonderful. But we do get the Paralysis, yes! Alright, Ampharos. Another Thunder Punch, definitely going to be able to take out Gyarados. And there we go, we get- oh, of course we get the critical hit when it's not even needed. Of course. Alright. Next up for Claire is going to be one of two Dragonairs. Uh, let's- uh, I guess I'll just mention the first one here on the list. Dragonair, level 38 Dragon type, obviously. Shed skin for the ability with the moves. Dragon Pulse, Thunder Wave, Slam, and Fire Blast. The other Dragonair, basically the same, except instead of Fire Blast, it has Aqua Tail. So, we'll be able to find out what happens here. Let's just... Let's stick with Ampharos until it's probably going to be taken out by Fire Blast, Dragon Pulse, Thunder Wave, whatever it uses. Alright, let's just use Thunder Punch Dragon Ball so we don't get a clue as to what the final move is, but let's see here. Wow, Infrost did survive it. Alright. Thunder Punch, please get Parahax, not even doing little damage at all. Um, I guess just stick with it. Oh, okay, this is the one with Aqua Tail. Alright, good. Because I was thinking of sending in Meganium here, but I didn't want to send it in in case it was the Fire Blast one. Alright, well, since we know that you're not the one with Fire Blast, let's send in Meganium! Alright, and let's go for Solar Beam. Alright, Thunder Wave, of course! Uh, AI, too strong. Alright, let's see here. Dragon Pulse, alright. Let's see if we'll actually break through the chance of para, uh, para hacks here. And we do! To hit Solar Beam. And it doesn't even do that much. Wonderful. Alright, let's just go for Petal Dances then. As more Dragon Pulses continue to rain down upon me. Wow, that did a lot that time. Okay. Um, Petal Dance, please do some damage. Oh wow, that actually did do a lot even though it's not very effective. But, unfortunately, that's probably going to do it here for Meganium. Alright, well, thank you very much, Meganium. Although, I do need to revive you, because we still have one more water-type Pokemon waiting in the wings. Alright, well, I guess I'll just heal up Meganium now, so Slugma, Death Fodder, yet again, unfortunately. Uh, let's see here, HP, Restore, we actually need to use a Revive first, because I'm a derp. Alright, and there we go, Meganium gonna be revived, we'll actually re revive Ampharos too. Dragon Pulse, yeah, that's gonna take out Slugma. Or not, okay, you can survive, when I thought, every time I say Slugma's going to faint, it always survives. I don't know why my luck is like that, well, not really luck, why I say that, because, actually I should say it more often so my Pokemon do not faint, which would be helpful. Anyway, I'm going to send in Crobat now. Um, Crobat will probably end up being Death Fodder as well. But I just want to see what we can do with a Shadow Ball before I, you know, do anything drastic. Okay, it does decent amount of damage Thunder Wave though. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to go Death Fodder. And Claire is probably going to use one of two, I think, full restores. So, 
let's just use our super potions here on Ampharos. And next turn will be Meganium. Oh, a Hyper Potion, okay. It's weird how some gym leaders have Hyper Potions and then others have full restores. I never really got that. Uh, but anyways, another Super Potion. Let's use it on Meganium and get it to somewhat full health. And then we'll just do as much as we can with Crobat, even though this Dragon Pulse is pretty much gonna hurt me. Oh, wow. Crobat's pretty tanky. Uh, let's use Fly, although... Risking it with the paralysis is kind of bad. Dragon Pulse? Uh, well, we can survive one more hit, no matter what it is. Uh, actually, no, we can't. What am I talking about? Slam! Alright. And of course, we get paralyzed and cannot move. Wonderful. You can miss the slam, that's... Okay, and I can get paralyzed when I'm trying to fly up in the air. And there it goes. Okay, well, that was a fun little exchange where I ended up dying no matter what. Thank you, Crobat, for being unintentional death fodder yet again. Alright, well... Dragonairs do have shed skin, so I can't th uh, paralyze it with Ampharos. Um, and I don't have an Ice-type move on Quagsire. I would use it. Well, I can't get Thunder Waved. That's a plus, I guess. Um, alright, let's just use Surf. Let's see what Quagsire can do. It's pretty much my highest leveled Pokemon with Meganium, so... Let's see. Dragon Pulse actually did a lot, though. That's unfortunate. Wow, oh my god, this is terrible. If only you could learn Avalanche, the TM I got in the Ice Path. Yeah, you can learn Ice Beam and frickin' Blizzard, but not frickin' Avalanche? Come on. Uh, let's just use Mud Bomb, try to use it at least, and uh, see if we can lower its accuracy. Okay, our accuracy can be terrible instead of lowering its accuracy. You know, that's fine, Quagsire, whatever. Yeah, whatever, get a critical hit, of course, of of course. Alright, well, um... Fortress, um... I think I'm gonna have to call the Explosion Guard while fun... Uh, Self-destruct card and get Thunder Waved, of course. Alright, Fortress, you're pretty much my only hope right now. There we go, self-destruct, and... Cross his fingers time. Oh my god, thank you, it's enough to at least take out this Dragonair. Oh, good lord. Alright, what's gonna be next? Probably the other Dragonair, I assume? Okay, we're not gonna be able to find out until... Um... No matter what, it would probably be more smart to send in Meganium. Just because. Alright, next up's going to be the other Dragonair with Fire Blast. Same moves as the previous one. I already mentioned both movesets. Okay. Petal Dance, since that did a lot when we initially used it on the first Dragonair. Surprisingly, I thought Solar Beam... Okay, wow, that doesn't even do that much to this one. And then we get Thunder Wave. That's, ju that's just great. Um, I should probably just... Revive Fortress and use, um, oh, the, yeah, Fire Blast, oh god. Um, oh man. We survived it, though. And I forgot Petal Dance's multiple usage. I probably just should have tried with Solar Beam. And now I'm gonna get confused, yay, so I don't even have a chance to, oh, actually I do, okay. Alright, Status Revive, yes. Fortress. I need to make. I need to go boom on this Dragonair, and then I need to heal up Meganium for her final Pokemon. Or I could actually Ampharos could probably handle it, but it'll be difficult. All right. No matter what it uses, I should survive with Fortress, but I don't want to take the risk, so I'm gonna be sending in Ampharos first. Um, did I say Ampharos can survive? I meant, um, Fortress. I don't even remember, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I'm just gonna heal up Fortress here. Alright, let's see. Dragon Pulse, okay. Let's see how much that does. Not really that much. Um, let's go for a Thunder, if we can survive this. Come on. Of course you miss! Of frickin' course, Thunder Wave, because, yeah, well, I don't... Uh. 
And then Fire Blast to finish me off. Oh god, Fire Blast on Fortress. I forgot. Four times super effective. Oh, that's gonna suck. Might even take us out. I can't go boom unless I have a Pokemon that's revived. Oh, God. Um. Meganium, I guess. And this is gonna take me out with a Fire Blast. Isn't it? Yeah, critical, come on! Come on! Stop rubbing salt in the freaking wounds. This is gonna be over in like two seconds. So, um... <laughs> I guess I will meet you when we're back to the... We didn't even get to see her final Pokemon before we got taken out. That's really cheap. Uh, but yeah, I will see you back when we're battling one of these two Dragonairs because... Oh, yeah, yeah, they are a pain to deal with with my team who are underleveled severely. Oh, I'll be back. All right, we're back. Fortress has exploded and taken care of both Dragonairs, which only leaves one more Pokemon. And I'm gonna send out Ampharos first, just so we can paralyze it, since it doesn't have Shed Skin. That Pokemon is Kingdra, level 41, Water Dragon type, Sniper for the ability, and it holds a Citrus Berry. Knows the moves, Hydro Pump, Dragon Pulse, Hyper Beam, and Smoke Screen. Let's do this. Smokescreen, oh please, don't. No, let me hit Thunder Wave. Let me hit Thunder Wave. Come on. Ampharos? Thank you. Oh man. Okay. And now I'm gonna switch out because of choice specs. I'm gonna go into Quagsire. And then, uh, Meganium and Ampharos can just tear this thing apart. And hopefully we win. Hopefully we get lucky with Parahax. Alright. Can't move. That's good. I'll take that. Alright, let's use a Mud Bomb. And we actually hit it! Oh my god! That is a legit surprise right now. Smoke screen, okay. Well, that's gonna lower Mud Bomb's hitting ability by a lot. Because Mud Bomb has low accuracy to start with. We hit it anyway, even with Smoke Screen, too. Oh my god. Wow. But doing little chip damage here with Quagsire is perfect because Bay uh Bayleaf, Meganium, and Ampharos, they're. Wow, three in a row! Their moves are, despite their moves being really good, Kingdra stats are even better, so, yeah, it's a very big problem. And, come on, can we get one more? Come on. Let's at least take away its Citrus Berry, because, like I said, it does have a Citrus Berry. Okay, we're going to take away its Citrus Berry now, which is very good. Take it away before we get to our aces for this battle. That is awesome. Hydro Pump on a Water Pokemon. Well, I see why you did it. We only have, like, 40 HP, so... I guess... Maybe we would have survived if we had full health. The world may never know. Alright. Meganium. Hopefully you can do this. I'm sending you out first, just because you're lower than Ampharos as far as levels go, so... Let's see. Alright. Let's go for a Solar Beam. I won't bust out the Petal Dance until we're halfway health. Alright. Absorb Light. Dragon Pulse, please don't do a lot to me. I would appreciate that. It does pretty much half. If it hits another Dragon Pulse, we'll survive with 1 HP, hopefully. Uh, but we'll see. Come on, survive with 1 HP, come on. Come on. Over-calculated damage all the time, and you're probably going to use a freaking... What do they call it? What, what do the kids call them nowadays? The Hyper Potion. Oh my god, this is terrible. I'm gonna have to go with... Oh wow, well you didn't use it. Okay. I'm gonna have to go with Discharge, a new move that we have, just because... Oh my god, we take... Oh my god, I was so afraid you were gonna use a Hyper... Oh my god, Ampharos is now too overpowered at level 36. My god. Ampharos, you're gonna need to take a chill pill. But we have defeated Gym Leader Claire! I don't believe it either. Uh, trust me, I don't believe it either. 
I won't concede this. I might have lost, but you're still not ready for the Pokemon League. I know, you should take the Dragon Master Challenge. Behind this gym is a place called the Dragon's Den. There is a small shrine to it at its heart. Go there. If you can prove that you've lost your lazy ideals, I will admit you are a trainer worthy of a gym badge. You freaking scumbag. Next time on Pokemon Heart Gold, we head to the Dragon's Den. See you guys then.